And ha here we have part two. Okay. Now we're going to do what? Okay, so now we're going to do, um, I teach Pilates, and uh, Pilates is about flexion and extension of the spine. And so as people age, you could be 30 years old and in horrible shape, or 60 years old and in awesome shape because you move your spine. Or you could be 40 years old and so-so like David. <laughs> How old are you? 40. Okay, so I'm, I'm 39. <laughs> and, ho okay. and holding? Okay, yeah, and holding. Okay, so now I want you to start with your chin. You're going to pull your chin in, and you're going to roll down one vertebrae at a time, like a banana peel, and reach for your toes. Do you have any back problems? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Look at you. You got some Well, you got flexibility. For a guy. How does that feel? feel it now the question is, will we yeah. be able to get reach back up? Chin in. Get that cervical. Yeah, you want to get your cervical, your thoracic. Now, Roll it up, one vertebrae at a time. Your head is the last thing to come up. Let your arms dangle. Bring it up, roll your shoulder blades back. And that's just some basics you can do at the office, at home. So, But I work with people more on building programs with actual Pilates reformers and, and other stuff that I can okay. put into their programs. For those of us who just sit on a couch, is there is there anything we can do? This, uh, other than get up off the yeah, couch? Yeah, get off the couch. But yeah, these stretches are great. Another good one, um, most people are pretty tight in their hip flexors and their shoulders because what do they do? They sit all day. So let's do this one. You're going to actually step back with your right foot and what I need you to do, see how your right toe is going to the wall? Turn both your toes. Yep, straight ahead. Good. Now, it's not a stick up. Just your right hand up. <laughs> he has trouble figuring right okay, and left. So now, I'm guessing you're pretty tight here. So this is what I do as a trainer. I assess and then I correct. So get that arm up, elbow by the ear. Good, okay. And bend this knee a little bit and keep that weight in that front heel. You feel the stretch? Mm -hmm. Good, now step together and then step back. So again, this is also working balance. And as we age, what happens? We lose balance. So it's important to do balance training. And then again, stretching. You're sitting all day, people are tight here. People are tight here, driving, and then let's switch, let's do the other side. So whenever you do on one side, you want to make sure you hit the other side so you're not lopsided. So step back, and then together. Yep, that's fine. I teach coordination, too. Is, <laughs> is, up. is so one side generally stronger? Than, what did you say? One side is generally stronger and more coordinated yes. than the other. How did you know that? Because I'm unbalanced. Okay, and tighter, weaker. Okay, so step back, keep that back leg straight. Keep that back leg straight. There you go, step together. Give me one more. Open up. Good. You feel better? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Ready to go to work now? Now i got to go to court. Okay, now you get to say I, I, I worked out today. I worked today. out today. <laughs> that pill workout was it Clarex? Clarex. 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 Yeah. It, it's obviously not working yet if you're not that focused. So that's good. Anything we can do sitting in a chair? Sitting in a chair? You can do a lot of stuff. If you're seated... And you pull away from your desk, you can always, again, roll forward, reach for the toes. And again, if you don't have that flexibility... I was going to say, for those of us who have, are lucky to get to, to reach to our knees... Well, but here's the thing. Success comes from consistency. So the more you do something, the better you're going to get at it. Okay. So here's the thing. If you have poor hamstring flexibility, that means you need to do this more. Bend the knees a little bit, reach down. And again, we're also hitting the spine here, stretching this out. Okay. And then get your chin in. Don't have your head up. You want to get that cervical okay. spine and then roll it up and down. So again, if you are a little more advanced, you got that flexibility, round forward and up. And again, same thing here. You can do side bends on the chair and then even get that chest, bring that hand behind and rotate. Same thing here, bring it behind and rotate. So there's just a couple basics, again, hitting a lot of the areas that okay. people are tight. Yeah. I, I need the exercise of not walking to the refrigerator or the pantry late at night. That, that's a little more difficult. But that's that's from the neck up. That's yeah. in, in your head. That's called discipline. Oh, <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah. But once you can master that discipline. Exactly. That's. I mean, honestly, I used to be the same way. I used to. What I said on on the air about Lent is true. I used to eat sweets all the time. Gave it up for Lent when I did my first show, and then ever since then, you know, I haven't looked back. Okay. So you don't you don't need sugar. The body does not need sugar. Sugar creates inflammation in the body, and uh, it's great. You know, I love eating it on occasion, but again. When I eat it, it doesn't do good things for me. Okay. I'll remember that. You're, you're sweet enough. You don't need sugar. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. And we'll see you at the Arnold. Yeah. Beautiful.